So I'm Michael Katanak, I'm Product Director for Polytech. So all the commercial business comes through me and my group. Uh, this is my ninth ISPO with Polytech. Uh, I'm originally from Scotland, but uh, I've lived in the US for the last nine years since I've been with Polytech. Well, Polytech have been uh, one of the leaders in the outdoor sports category for many, many years. And most of what Polytech do is, uh, is very different. It's enabling people to be comfortable in the widest range of, uh, in the widest range of conditions possible. What Polytech understood was the waterproof breathable category as it was, didn't really allow people to be comfortable all the time, it was kind of compromised. So what Polytech wanted to do was to get back into the waterproof breathable category with something that really, uh, really complemented the rest of Polytech's range. So something which wasn't compromised, something where you were comfortable in any condition possible. Well, the main thing about Polytech Neoshell compared to the competition is that it's truly air permeable. So lots of people talk about breathable materials, ours is actually breathable in that it moves air across the membrane. Uh, what we've found over the years is that it's, it's, uh, it's useful for, for most of your mountain sports. But I think where, it's, where we really found the sweet spot for it is for places where people wouldn't normally consider wearing a waterproof breathable shell. Uh, that's like high aerobic sports like uh, cycling and running. Yeah. Things where waterproof shells in the past would have made you really uncomfortable, really sweaty. But with Polytech Neoshell, you can evacuate that extra heat and moisture through the membrane and be comfortable for a much longer period of time at a wider range of activities. So there's lots of different ways to stay waterproof, right? You can just wrap yourself up in like a trash bag or something and you're going to be effectively waterproof. But being able to get the, get the air and get the excess air and excess heat and excess moisture out in a reasonable period of time is what makes our membrane special. So rather than being a full film or a monolithic coating, uh, it's composed of a very, very fine nanoscale mesh of polyurethane. And uh, it's just hit that little sweet spot of being able to make something that is, is big enough to allow moisture vapor out from the inside as well as keeping rain and elements out from the, from the user. You know, we did a lot of testing in the early days of, of Nia Shell. We knew we were up against some entrenched competition in this market. So we went out uh, with, with hundreds of different people. And what we found early on was it mirrors what I said before, is like some of the best use of this is in places where you wouldn't normally use a waterproof breathable fabric. So we had some adventure racers who said they, they no longer needed to swap clothing between, uh, between canoeing and running and biking and cycling, whatever. So, I think it's that wider, we really understand that people have a much wider range of usage of this material than, uh, than any other. Well certainly with it, yeah, within Neoshell Jordan we've been working for a few years on uh, some of the cycling and running materials. Like I said, that's one of the places where we really feel the difference in Neoshell is, uh, is felt. But people still want to have shell garments, you know, shell garments aren't going away and we feel like we're going to like, go back into that market with things that look like big comfortable, breathable jackets again. That's where we see the trend going. And we think we see that in the mountain sports and as well as we see it in fashion. People want to, want to have something that's robust.